Here are, what's up guys, Keith Kelfis. Uh, I wanna talk about why money is the heart throb of your business and you can never, ever, ever run out of money or like oxygen, you're dead. Well, how do you do that, right? Um, it's called sweat equity. But when you're getting a business off the ground, you gotta work, I'm not kidding, 100 hours a week and just take everything you can possibly get. And when there's a temptation to spend money on something that is not investing in your business or at least socking it away, it could be absolutely detrimental to your business. And this is why, um, let's say you get a truck on the road. I, I should send you guys a pic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, dig up a picture of my truck I call the Blue Goose. My first landscape truck was a mess on wheels, dude. It was a total rust bucket. And by my second year in business, the thing was filled up with tools to the top all over. When I would hit the brakes, the tools would fall all over me. I'm talking shrub trimmers and backpack blowers in the truck with me. Filled up debris and leaves in the back of the truck with tools and rakes all bungee down. It did look like Sanford and Sons rolling down the street. It was so embarrassing and I was working 100 hours a week. So, anyways... When you finally get a trailer, you're like, well, now you need a fire extinguisher and safety uh, triangles, it flares, and emergency medical kit. Now you need graphics on the side of it. Oh, if you can't have a trailer without a spare tire and a jack and a, 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 a spare tire kit. But you can't afford all that stuff in the beginning. So you're literally running scared, like butt naked through the woods on fire with your fingers crossed. And that's what it's like. And those are the good times when you're praying the phone will ring. You're praying you you get another job. You're praying it all works out. And it doesn't work out. Then you get a flat tire in the middle of the freeway. And cars are buzzing by you. And you don't even got money to fix the flat. And you're crying on the phone with your old lady. And she's saying, I don't care what you got to do. You better figure it out. Right? It's crazy starting a new business. It's crazy leaving the security of a job that didn't even pay you enough to make ends meet anyways. There are times when you feel like this is a dog-eat-dog -dog world and you could feel like you're in a living nightmare. So I wanna, want you to heed my warning because I love you guys, you new guys. When the day comes, when you get over the, the, the hump, when you start cresting and you actually start making some money, you actually start making a couple bucks. You actually got a few grand in the biz, eh? Save that money and sock it under your mattress, keep it in the bank. Don't increase your lifestyle. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Keep living poor and keep running your ass off. If you gotta, if you gotta hide the money, if you're not good at saving money, if you gotta like let your old lady hold on to it or I don't do that I, I, I manage all my own money but <laughs> what I'm saying is the day you think you start getting it and things are coming together yeah dog I got some money it's good that day is the day shit's gonna hit the fan and everything is gonna break down at you on a you at once your your biggest customer is gonna let you go and shit's gonna start hitting the fan and now you're gonna find yourself in emergency mode again I've been through it every single year in my business. The first three years is literally a non-stop emergency. It's a non-stop hellhole, and you're running scared, man. So you gotta run 100 hours a week. You're learning on the fly. You're learning about business, what to charge, what taxes and prices, and, and advertising. I don't even have money for advertising. Nobody's calling. Like, it's it's very, very hectic, and it's it's it's, if you want the truth, I think getting a business off the ground without any business experience and without any money is barely possible. It's possible because I did it. Because I flipping did it, man. I can't believe I did it. And, and it's not like everything's gravy now, dude. I'm still running my guts out right now. I'm just making videos about it because I, I, I care and I, I just want to let you know that if you're in the grind right now and you're in the trenches, just keep running your ass off. Keep, don't look up. Or if you're up on, on a ladder, don't look down. Just keep running, dude. And you start getting some money, don't even look at it. Just run your ass off. You think you need a new shiny backpack blower or a brand new truck or maybe I'll get a new trailer. No, keep using the old shit you got. Work with what you got and run your ass off. Never expand in business 
until you're forced to expand and that is the natural organic growth of your business so um, you know there'll be times when you get your business off the ground it's going good and you're at a family event you're at a picnic you're like I got my own business and you feel good about yourself I mean I mean that's okay and stuff like that but always stay humble and realize that I mean it is by grace that you're gonna make it and you're gonna make it if, if my uncle Chris told me he's a successful business owner he owns automotive shops for 25 years dude he's been there been through the ringer he's made uh, lots of money and work he works his guts out seven days a week right now well, six days a week he said he called me a secret I'll tell you a secret Keith when I was when I was like 17 he's like if you always 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 work your ass off every inch of the day You'll always make it. You will always make it. You're gonna make it, man. You're gonna make it. All right, I gotta fly. I got some uh, fires to put out. Peace.